So another example of a pattern interrupt that you use is, is that odd situation where you've found a way to talk to yourself and, and actually sort of <laughs> chastise yourself to some point. And combine this with truly understanding consumer behavior. Yeah, basically like analytics, reports, forecast, um, strategies. You know. Can I continue here? Oh, I'm so sorry, I interrupted you. Didn't I? I'm, I'm so yeah, you did. I was kind of making a point here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm continue. Please, okay, please where was I? Can you tell me what you're thinking there a little bit? Yeah, I, I was inspired by another video where someone else did something like that and I thought, okay, that's that's an interesting concept. They use it in a different way, obviously. Yeah. And I took that idea and said, how can I bring this into this video and create a, a humorous part in this? It's a four minute video and uh, yeah. it's a long video, so how can I bring that in? And that's that's why I use that pattern interrupt in there where I'm talking to myself. So I'm kind of oh. hearing you're using yeah. these for multiple reasons or, or using the time in multiple ways. So you want to interrupt, you want to change something, but you're not just doing that just to interrupt and yeah. just to change. You're, you're thinking, I can use this wall to create, to emphasize a point. Yeah. I can use this interaction to show that I'm sort of creative and a little quirky yeah. and fun. Uh, yeah. And so they're saying things the way you interrupt yeah. is saying things about you as well. Exactly, and I think it's, it's a combination of using, you know, um, something that's a pattern interrupt with an intention behind it, right? Um, it's not about just creating pattern interrupts for the sake of it and exciting people, but not really revealing something. Yeah. What I was trying to do all throughout the video is, if you notice, I never really talk about my technical skills and my yeah. skills that I have in kind of video editing or creating strategies and stuff like that. And through the video, I wanted to kind of show them what I yeah. can do. I was trying to get the attention of employers, right? And the whole video is about, hey, come check out what I'm doing here and get the attention and pull them towards me, create that attraction field. And so trying to push some content on them. And that's the difference, you know, push marketing versus pull marketing. Yeah. It's a very big difference. If you can create emphasis on certain points in your video, which is talking about you as a person yep. without actually saying it, but it's embedded in the results, that is so much more impactful than trying to say, hey, I'm really good at doing this. Anyone can do that, yeah. but very few take the action to show you that that's yeah. what they do. So, so I think yeah. we need a pattern interrupt here <laughs> <laughs> to emphasize the point that Sheldon just made, that this video resume, so many people can say they have this skill or that skill, mm -hmm. or I'm creative, or yeah. I, I, you know, I'm whatever. If you can show it, and if you yep. can show it in a compelling way, and if you can use this as a format to not just showcase yourself, but what you're able to do. CMA Next, find your path, find what's next.